In this video, I'm providing insight on bottle feeding and childcare. Plus, I'm sharing five essential bonus tips most parents aren't aware of that will help your babies transition to childcare tremendously. When dropping off your baby at childcare each day, you'll either give the teacher your baby bag with bottles to put in the fridge or put them in the fridge yourself. For formula-fed babies, you'll want to check with the child care provider whether or not it is their policy that you pre-make the bottles at home or if you can just bring in the can of formula and empty bottles for the teachers to prepare. If the infant teachers will be preparing bottles there, be sure to provide them with detailed instructions as to how many scoops and how many ounces of water per bottle. For breastfed babies, you'll also want to check if you can send bags of breast milk or if the bottles need to be pre-made. If there is a freezer available in the classroom, it's also a good idea to send a couple of extra bags of breast milk for the teachers to have on hand. That way, if your baby is extra hungry that day and finishes all the provided milk, the teachers can defrost and use the breast milk so that you don't need to leave work or come early to feed your baby. Be sure to label the breast milk bags and include the date that it was pumped. When infant teachers prepare a child's bottle, there's a few different ways they may heat it up. The more traditional way is by microwaving a large cup of water and then putting the bottle inside the hot water until it's warm enough. They will then test the milk on the inside of their wrist before feeding. Many centers have begun using a more modern method of bottle warmers to heat the bottles and then testing them in the same way to ensure the temperature is not too hot to drink. If it is, the teachers will leave the bottle outside the water or heater to cool down a little. Once the bottles are warmed and tested, teachers will feed the babies either with gloves or not, depending on the center's policy or their comfort level. Most centers require teachers to hold the babies while they're being fed. Sometimes older babies or younger toddlers who are getting more independent will take the bottle by themselves. All right, it's time to take out your notebook. Here are five inside tips for preparing bottles and prepping your baby for feeding and daycare. First tip, if your baby is breastfed, be sure to train them in drinking from a bottle before they start in childcare. If they've never drank from a bottle before, they will certainly not learn how to on their first day. I've seen this happen several times and the babies refuse to drink and scream and cry all day. It's way too many transitions for them. They're going to not only be upset that it's not mom they're drinking from, but they're in a new place and have an unfamiliar person feeding them. Definitely have other members of your family or friends feed your baby with a bottle before they start in daycare so they are comfortable feeding from other people besides mom and dad. So your first tip is make sure your baby is able to drink from a bottle and that they're comfortable being fed by other adults. They do have bottles that have a rounder shape at the top that resembles a breast that can help them adjust. Moving on to the second tip, make sure you have the appropriate nipple size for your baby at the top of the bottle. When it's too big and they're too little, it comes out too fast and can cause them to choke on the milk and cough or spit it up. When it's too small and they're a little older, it comes out too slow and is frustrating for them when they can manage a larger milk flow. The third tip, and this one is super important. Whether you're pre-making your bottles at home or preparing breast milk bottles, only fill it closest to the amount that your baby typically eats. This is because after the bottle is warmed in childcare, it can only be fed to the child within the hour. Beyond that point, bacteria starts to grow and it will be disposed. That means if your baby doesn't finish the bottle, the teachers may put it aside and try refeeding every few minutes, but they will dispose of the rest after the hour. At home, you may be used to making your baby a full bottle and then just popping it in the fridge when they're done for next time, but at daycare, that won't fly. Formula is expensive, and with all the time and effort it takes to breastfeed, it's basically as valuable as gold, right? So you don't want to throw any away. I've seen some moms prepare 8 to 10 super small bottles in order to preserve the milk, which I think is a genius idea. Fourth tip, be sure to label the bottle, including the cap. If you bring in formula, label the can. If you bring in breast milk bags, label the bags. Whether you use a Sharpie or those cute, wash-resistant, customizable labels with your child's name, make sure you label everything. Never assume labels are no longer needed because your teacher is familiar with the style, design, and color of your child's bottle. You never know when there will be a substitute teacher in there or another teacher covering breaks, so everything needs to be clearly labeled for whoever is in there. Even if it's in a bin in the fridge with the child's name on it for their bottles, still label the individual bottle. Years ago, a mix-up actually happened at one center I worked at because of this. An assistant teacher was covering a regular teacher's bathroom break and accidentally fed a child the wrong bottle and it was breast milk. So please, clearly label everything. Also, be sure to label all containers when your baby starts eating solid food as well. And the fifth tip, make sure you also pack a stack of bibs and burping cloth for while your baby is feeding. Trust me, they go through them fast. I hope these tips were helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Feel free to share any other tips you may have learned as well. See you next time.